Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from shopintegrator.com. In this tutorial I'll show you how to install the Shop Integrator WordPress plugin, which is the first step to turn your WordPress site into an online shop. So if you head over to shopintegrator.com and scroll down the main homepage, you'll find a list of supported platforms, one of which is WordPress, and if you click the WordPress logo, it will take you to the WordPress page with a bit of information about the WordPress plugin. If you click this download link, that will allow you to download the plugin in a zip file. It's downloaded here, and that should appear in my default download directory. And that is the file you should end up with. It's a zip file, and it's about 45 kilobytes big. And what you then need to do is head over to your WordPress site. This is just an example site. I'm going to log in and here I am in my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to click plugins in the left hand menu and you can see here I've got no plugins currently installed. So I'm going to click add new and then I'm going to click upload and choose file and this will let me select the zip file that I downloaded from the shopintegrator.com website. I'm going to click open and install now and what you should see is these messages up here with plugin installed successfully and I'm going to click return to plugins page and we can see here the shop integrator plugin has appeared in the plugins list and what I can do then is click activate and it says here plugin activated and what you will notice now is when you go into settings down here there should be a shop integrator e-commerce option and when you click that that will allow you to specify the plugin settings now what you need to do is you need to enter your client code in order for the plug in to work correctly within your WordPress site. That's my client code there. Now in order to obtain your client code you need to go to the shopintegrator.com website, click log on to go to your Shop Integrator admin console and under my shop account user profile you'll find your username but you'll also find your client code. Make sure you pick up the client code and not your username as they are different. So it's that you need to copy and paste and you would paste it into that client code box up there. It's not your username, it is your client code so please make sure you get the correct one. If you don't put in the correct client code what you'll find is that when you add e-commerce plugins to your site they simply won't show anything and they'll be empty effectively. So make sure that that's the correct value. And then you can click save changes, settings saved and you can return to the dashboard and in order to check that the plugin has successfully been installed what you can do is go to a post and I'm just going to pick this empty post here as an example which just simply contains that text at the moment and you'll see here a shop integrator button should appear on your rich text editor. I'm going to click that just to quickly add a plugin just to test it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in an existing stock code for one of my products that I know exists. And there we go, it's found that product. And I'm going to insert this add to basket interactive price tag. I'm going to click insert. It's been successfully inserted into the post and I'm going to close that window and you see here it's inserted an entry into your post that represents that add to basket plugin and I'm going to update that post and then I'm going to view post and what we should see is the add to basket plugin successfully inserted into that post. So that means that the plugin is working correctly as expected. 
and that is how you install the WordPress plugin and in further tutorials we'll cover a bit more in depth how you can go ahead and add more of the e-commerce features to your WordPress site now that you've got the plugin installed. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials. If you enjoyed this tutorial then please remember to click the like button and if possible share with your friends and family on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.